Okay, so yesterday, after the ICC ordered the arrest of the Prime Minister of Israel, Netanyahu, and the Minister of um, Defense for Israel, Galat, some people say the countries under ICC will not obey the order. But less than 24 hours as of today, as I talk to you now, many countries have said that they are going to obey the orders of the ICC. In fact, even some countries who are not under ICC have said that they are going to obey the orders of the ICC. Let me show you a list of the countries that have said they will obey the orders. Which countries have confirmed they will abide by ICC warrants? Number one, Canada says it will abide by all rulings issued by international courts. Number two, the EU's foreign policy shift says all of the bloc's 27 member states are obligated to enforce ICC rulings. Three, Italy says it would arrest Netanyahu or Gallant if they come to the country. Four, the Netherlands says it will abide by the arrest warrant. Belgium says Europe must comply and also calls for economic sanctions and the suspension of the association agreement, which acts as a legal framework for political and economic ties with Israel. Turkey calls the warrants an important step to hold Israeli officials accountable for genocidal crimes. The UK government says it respects the ICC's independence as some lawmakers seek answers on its official position. Iraq calls on all three countries to enforce the ICC warrants. You see, Israel has a right to defend itself. There's nobody that will sit down on that person can invade the country, buy its citizens, then go away with it. But if it is a mass that have carried out that crime, why not fight a mass back? Why did you start going after innocent people, including women and children? Hospitals and schools. How are you better than their mass now? How? Do not forget that the arrest warrant was not only issued against Israel Prime Minister and the Minister of Defense. It was also issued against the leader of Hamas. Although Israel said they don't blast that one for air raid. Now all these countries are complaining. Even in South America, the mayor of Dearborn in Michigan, USA, have said if Netanyahu will come Dearborn, no, he will arrest him. So you see that the man has made more enemies than friends. As we they talk, so it's the same bomb go Lebanon today. As we they talk, so it's still a blast. Anyway, it's all right. All he needs to do is to make sure that he doesn't leave Israel. Or if he's going to leave, he goes to countries that are not under the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. There are 124 countries under the Rome Statutes. So you must avoid the 124 of them. You must avoid them. Because they will be spellbound to obey the orders of the International Criminal Court. For people when they comment on my post, they say, is it not that International Criminal Court that ordered the release of Kanu? International Criminal Court never did that. Kanu case never even reached there. Kanu case, the ECOWAS court. There's a difference. ECOWAS is economic community of West African states. ICC is the countries under the Rome statute. So there are two big differences. And now you can see the country saying they are going to obey the other. We are still waiting for Nigeria and Tinibu. Those are saying they are in face. We are waiting for them. People will not get this in the top. They are wait anything for everybody to do like they do. But it's alright. God will help us. If you want to fight people, just follow the rules of engagement. You have the right to defend yourself, but you don't have the right to commit crimes of combat.